So Gwen, it seems that you have several roles. You're a survivor and you're someone who supports other women with ovarian cancer. Can you tell me what other supports exist that are available to women with ovarian cancer? Yes. Um, when I was first diagnosed, there weren't as many opportunities around, but we are very fortunate now. The ovarian cancer community has really risen to the cause, and nowadays there are so many opportunities for an ovarian cancer patient to connect with other women. Um, not only the face-to-face -face at the Linda Young Ovarian Cancer Support Program, but oftentimes when a woman's first diagnosed, she's not really ready for a support group per se, but she needs to talk with somebody else who understands. There's a hotline run out of um, New York City. It's called CHAIR. It's uh, Self-Help for Women with Breast and Ovarian Cancer. Uh, the phone number is 1-866-537-4273. And it, it, when a woman calls that, she can call it seven days a week. Um, and in the end, what she ends up talking to is another survivor who's been a trained volunteer who um, really can understand. They've walked that walk. They know what it's like. They know, understand the fears. They understand the symptoms. They understand the side effects of the different kinds of diseases. And so she has a one-on-one -on -one connection with, with people. There's also an organization out of Westchester County called Support Connections, also for ovarian cancer and breast cancer women. Mm -hmm. But that one, for ovarian cancer, the unique thing about them is they have a telephone support group. So women who um, are either uh, homebound because they're too ill, they don't like to come out at, at, at night, they have no transportation, they're too sick. I mean, they can, they can participate in this phone conference um, right from their bed, okay? And it's a support group that meets once a month, and we do it by a toll-free number. And that, uh, in order to get more information about that, you can call 1-800-532-4290. And by calling that number, you'll be connected with their group, with, with their staff, who will then give you the information about how to become a member of that group. And one last source of support, and this is for people who have ready access to computers, is there's actually an online group that, again, is a particularly helpful group for, for women. It's, um, we call it the ACOR group. It's um, um, the, Ameri the Association for Cancer Online Resources. And if you go to www.acor.org, you can, you can drill down through the mailing list to find the ovarian cancer support program in there. It's a ovarian cancer uh, prob problems discussion group. It's under the O's. And that group, you have to become a member of it, but it's free. But there's about 13 to 1,400 women worldwide that are a member of that. And you can post things there. And again, that's a 24-7 type of operation where you can post and then people can respond back to your questions. And all of these forms of support groups, whether they be the Linda Young Ovarian Cancer Support Groups or any of these others that I've been talking about, you know, they are so valuable. When, when I was first diagnosed and I was going through my chemo, um, that, first, that first round of chemo, I didn't know what I was in for, and I ended up having some difficulties. But without having another survivor to talk to, I wouldn't have known that I wasn't just being a chemo wimp, that there really was something I really needed to go talk to another, to, you know, go back to my doctor with it. And so by talking with other survivors, you know, this allows you to figure out how to deal with some of the side effects that you're dealing with when you get chemo, um, maybe even some of the opportunities where clinical trials might be located. Um, if somebody else is on a, a drug that might be pertinent to what you might be interested in having. One of the challenges with ovarian cancer is even though 70% of us get to our first remission, um, you know, most of us are going to reoccur. I was diagnosed in 2005 and I've already had one reoccurrence and I know the likelihood of me getting another one is very high. So these support groups are so critical for women who are diagnosed with ovarian cancer. <clears throat> So, Ellen, the Linda Young Ovarian Cancer Support Program is underneath the umbrella of the Oncology Support Program. Can you tell me a little bit about the Oncology Support Program? Sure. The Oncology Support Program is a program that serves all of the cancer community, and it is located uh, in Kingston, New York. It is, uh, it's a part of Benedictine Hospital, which is a member of the Health Alliance of the Hudson Valley. 
and the Oncology Support Program provides support groups not only to women with ovarian cancer but support groups to women who have any kind of cancer. It provides a support group for men who have cancer, for families and caregivers, for um, children whose parents are going through uh, cancer. We also have a number of different wellness classes and programs in the healing arts. Our wellness classes include yoga, qigong. We also have a number of different programs, as I said, in the healing arts. We have a music therapist who comes and works with patients. We have programs in the visual arts and painting and photography. And uh, we really try to create an opportunity for women to and men to get support in a host of different ways. It's not only just about support groups, it's about people living their lives fully with cancer. Studies increasingly show the importance of a healthy lifestyle and that is something that we promote. So we have programs in nutrition and complementary medicine. So our program is pretty inclusive. We also have a beautiful garden, which is dedicated to Rebecca's mom, Linda. It's called Linda's Healing Garden. And the Oncology Support Program is in a very cozy, comfortable, sweet little house. We have a kitchen in the house where we have cooking classes for people, healthy cooking classes. And the garden is behind the house, and it's a beautiful place for people to come, to reflect, to meditate, to connect with nature. So we're, we're very, very um, proud and very um, fortunate to have the hospital support our program and have these wonderful resources for the cancer community. If you're interested in learning more about the Oncology Support Program, you can call us at 845-339 2071. We actually have a quarterly newsletter that comes out that talks about all of our programs and also has a number of different articles on topics that are pertinent to cancer. And um, we also are able to send this newsletter via email. It can also be found online at the hahv.org website. So please, if you're interested in finding out more about the Oncology Support Program, more about ovarian cancer, more about the Linda Young Ovarian Cancer Support Program, please give us a call. So, Ellen, I hear that there is an upcoming fundraising event for the Linda Young Ovarian Cancer Support Program. Would you tell me a little bit about this fundraising event? For the last 10 years, we've actually had a fundraising event, which was a, um, a dinner dance. But this year, we're starting a new venue. It's called an Autumn Garden Party. It's being sponsored by the Benedictine Health Foundation and the Kingston Hospital Foundation. And the Garden Party is going to be on Sunday, September 25th, from 3 to 6 o'clock p.m. in Saugerties. If you're interested in coming to the event, supporting the Linda Young Program, please call 845-334-3017, and you can get more information about the event. Thank you so much for giving us all this important information about ovarian cancer and the Linda Young Ovarian Cancer Support Program.